To access Shure Hash software, click on the shortcut placed on your desktop. If the shortcut deleted for any reason, you can go to the main Shure Hash folder placed on your C drive. Then right click on SureHashClient.exe, choose Send To, then choose Desktop Create Shortcut. As you can see here, this will create a shortcut on your desktop to help you access the software faster in the future. Now double click on the software shortcut. A loading screen will appear, give it a second or two. Then a sign in screen will open requiring your username and password. By default, SureHash names the first user to admin and the default password is also admin. But for the first time when you sign in, you will be required to change your password. You can add as many users as you need later on and assign different authorities to each user, giving them access to all parts or certain parts of your software. As an admin, by default, you have access to all parts of the system. Now back to the main screen. On the left side, you got your logo and company name confirming that this software is licensed to your company. On the right side here, you have three icons. The first one is README. If you click on it, it will open the README file with important terminologies such as package, hash package, messengers, application, Omra group, Omra application, and a description of each of these terminology right in front of them. These terminologies are being used throughout the system, so this way when you see them, you know what they are indicating. The second icon is how to start. If you click on it, you will find important tips on how to start the software which we will be walking you through in these videos. The third one is exit, and that will shut down the software. It is recommended, but not mandatory, to shut down the software at the end of every day when you finish your work. This way, if there is any update notifications, you will get them the next day when you sign back in. Now let us log in. I already changed my password, so I'm going to enter my admin username and password. Then click log in. First, you'll notice a greeting message greeting the user that just signed in. It happens that my name is administrator as I'm using the admin account. If there is any available update notification, it will appear here as you can see. If it's a minor update, you may ignore it. But if it's a major update, the system will force you to download and install the new update. In our case here, it's a minor update. It says here, new minor version is available. It is highly recommended to download and install all updates, regardless if it's minor or major. This way you get to enjoy all the new features of SureHash. Let us do this to show you how easy it is to download and install a new update. Click on download and install the latest version. The software automatically shuts down and your browser will open and the update version has been already downloaded. Click on it to open it. If you get the Windows protected your PC, all you have to do, click on more info, then click on run anyway. A message will appear telling you that this update will be installed in the main folder of SureHash under your C drive. Click OK, then unzip, then OK. That's it, you're done. The new version has been downloaded and installed. All you have to do is just close this and close your browser. Now when you sign in again, there will be no update notification. And instead, you will have four options. Let's look at that together. A 
As you can see here, we now have four main options. Hajj back office, where you can manage all your Hajj business. Umrah back office, that's where you can manage all your Umrah business. Settings, very important area that we can access to change or adjust how the software is behaving. Change password, which is an easy way for the user to change their password. Now, depending on your sure hash subscription, one of these two options, hash back office or Omra back office may be disabled. So if you signed up for hash only, you will not be able to access the Omra back office. If you signed up for Omra only, you will not be able to access the hash back office.